hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is jabzo today's video we are going to be designing this very beautiful looking flyer in photoshop cc 2020 any other version of photoshop you are cool to go so without talking much let's get started If you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe, it's free of charge and notification icon so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. So first thing is we'll create a new file with 10 by 10 inches 300 pixels resolution. The resolution doesn't matter much, especially when it comes to flyers. That's what you use on the web. So first thing is that we'll have our we have our resources over here. We'll drag in our images. You readjust it by clicking on Alt. So click on Alt, drag it out. Then it's cool over here. Go in for the other ones. So I have our cross here. Which will put at the top corner. And we'll blend it. Using soft light. So in order not to make it too obvious. All this. Or max it you click on the max layer max here and you click you go and click on B so you click on B to select the brush tool and when you look here you find you realize that the color on top is white it's not going to do the what I want it to do so you click on X it will swap it for you and you come and clean parts of it so you see that it, it now looks more of being part of the design than it looked initially so when you do this you are just hiding up those pixels that are part of the image we'll go in select in our praying hands so it is I have to work on it first so you click on the max here this was because I wanted to show you how you work on the picture sometimes. And I click on C to crop. We are really not much interested in Jesus in this image. So after you are done saving it, since it was a lesson, a smart object, you just flatten it and save. Then the effect takes place here. You can just reposition it. Over here, change the blend mode to soft light and do likewise by maxing it then B. And when you're using the max, be sure not to click on the main picture. So it's, we are cool to go. The next thing is to add. So these ones, we have to we clip them inside the first image. For now, it doesn't really matter, but because of what I want to add on top. 
So I'll add a color, a solid color. And the color code is A4, A04, CE7. Easier for so this is it and the blend mode is linear bend. And I reduce the opacity of it. And clip it within our background. So you can group all these ones and name them background. So to group you select everything and change the name to background. We can now lock and lock it. We'll add to the base a color and we'll just use the color picker. Select this color. And that's good. Also lock it by clicking on Control Forward Slash. We'll bring in our text, which I've already prepared. So to be able to play the animal, go to view, go to view, view guides, then custom guide. So column two, rows two. Increase your font size. And I have it right in the middle. So we we'll change the color to white, pure white. The next step is revival. So I'll place it right here and with the 2021 I will be using it as a subscript so you go to window character and your character panel will appear you click on this sub superscript and the text will go up there I'll work on the font very soon but let's work with the other text Just duplicate it. So adjust them well. So in order to adjust them very well, just select all of them, distribute horizontally, and move it to the middle. Contact information.
and we'll come back here we'll add a rectangle from there you zoom in to add your text And with the quotation, make it look smaller than the main text so that you can give attention to the main, the theme rather than the scripture. Though both are important, but one needs more attention in this case. So to change the font type here, you go to character panel and with this rotate Mistral for the we'll take Pristina. For the font size of the quotation, the font type of the quotation, zoom out. With this, the font class is script. When you take the font you adjust it then go to window come and select styles and various styles options will appear most of them are in bold so i'll view them so this is the style I'm using is fair and natural. That's if you're using Photoshop CC 2020. If you're not using that one, I'm sorry, you have to use a different font style, a uh, layer style in this case, or if you can create this. So with a pattern, we just turn off the pattern and increase our font size. So, the logos are what's left and they are easy to work with. Just drag it in. And then the logo of CKT Utah's. And you take off the white do likewise to the CCR logo so what I did was I clicked on E to remove to activate the eraser to which I'm using to raise it so I select the two of them and center them so this looks a bit bigger.
all right so that's it for this flyer i know you've learned a lot of effects in this case so if this video gave you value do well to hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos and leave your questions in the comment section below i will do well to answer them so till i see my next video is bye bye